we are here. Thank you for all your support. Uh, the speed at which everybody subscribed, over 400 subscribers with one teaser video. Uh, it tells me you've been waiting far too long for this. Uh, I'm sorry for my late arrival to the game, but I am here, so let's get this party started. Many of you know me as a magician. In many ways, I like to think of myself as an artist. Magic is my medium, and the moment is my canvas. I grew up in a home filled with art. My mother was a professional artist. My father was a, was a contractor and a carpenter. I have three younger, extremely creative sisters. All of us under one roof. Making, building, shaping something. Everything in our house we made. One day I was over a, a friend's house and uh, I asked who made this art piece I had seen on the wall and uh, I, you know, did you make it? Was it from a family or a friend? And he said he didn't know, that he just liked it. And this threw me off. Uh, in my home, everything on the walls and maybe even the walls themselves were things we created. Just liking something and putting it in your home seemed odd to me. I thought, why would you hang somebody else's soul on your wall? That would be like inviting a stranger into your home. I thought this, not realizing I was the minority. I was diagnosed with dyslexia just before entering my senior year of high school. While the diagnosis came late, being dyslexic ended up being one of the greatest blessings in my life. In hindsight, I realized that I was problem solving even how to get through uh, school. It forced me to look at the world in a different way and in the end, on my own terms. Art became my means of expression and survival. Uh, I was drawn to art even more because of dyslexia. It was a way to betray the two-dimensional plane, uh, to cave it in. Uh, that flat piece of paper that would often just have words I could push through those words and create the illusion of depth using lines, shading, and perspection. This freedom allowed me to face the fear and to find my answers to life's problems, sometimes in untraditional ways. In our house, the home I grew up in, if I wanted a bike, we would build it. If a radio was broken, we would fix it. Whatever it was, we would make it. So I wanted to be a magician, but the secrets were all in the books. So instead of reading them, I watched and I learned and I figured out why every choice was made. I could see what worked and what didn't. This allowed me to put my focus on what magic could be rather than what it was, creating the magic of the future and the magic that I wanted to see. I don't know if I'm right or wrong, I just want to share with you what I see. So here's the, the tip of the day. What in your life today do you consider a negative, maybe something you even dislike about yourself, but if you shift your point of view just a little bit, you might realize that it's your superpower. So what's the difference between you can do something no one else can do? or you do something that no one else does. Either way, it's what makes you unique. Just do something different. Trust me, you want to stay strange. Then you just gotta figure out how that strangeness benefits you. What about you is different than anyone else? So, that's uh, the first uh, first video you know so uh, just want to slowly introduce myself want to see what you guys are looking for I uh, who knows what you want from me you know I see other videos out there and again I don't want to do what they're doing uh, so I uh, so I'm not gonna tell you to subscribe and hit the, the bell icon or any of that I mean that would be that would be 
wrong. Mm -hmm.